Kwame Asherala, all praises and glory goes to our mighty power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone that teach and rule well, um, and who we learn this knowledge and wisdom from, salutations unto the elect man that's continually feeding the sheep of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and sincerity and the truth, and um, Shalom to the sisters who are listening. And um, we're going to continue in this, this 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 gospel, man. This gospel, that's our job to continue in this gospel, man. Because um, we have we have the faith, we have the truth, we have something to hope for, right? We got the name of the Lord, we got the name of His Son, right? You need those things. You need those things. We got trust in the Lord. Because um, we're not putting our trust in nothing else. There's nothing else you can put your trust in. Look at these these killings going on, right? The police can help them, right? The teachers can save them. The security guards can help them. Nobody could help these people, man. Because can't nobody deliver you out of the Lord's hand. That's what you got to understand. Can't nobody save you out of the Lord's hand. The Lord is all powerful. His name is Yahweh. And he's in control. I'm going to read the book of... <laughs> Let's go to Jeremiah 25. In 31, it says, a noise shall come even to the ends of the earth. For the Lord have a controversy with the nations. He will plead with all flesh. He will give them that are wicked to the sword, Seth Yahweh. We know the main sword he's going to give them over to is that nuclear missile. That nuclear missile. But right now, what you got a lot of people being killed by your, your, your basic sword, which is the gun. Which is the gun right now? They're what they're banning weapons, guns in um Canada. They're banning weapons in Canada, man. You gotta realize what this devil been doing, man. The devil been watching you, so-called preppers. You got um at one time you preppers were talking about going out into the forest, going out into um different areas where you got lots of trees and bushes to hide from Esau Edom. What did Esau Edom do? He started burning the motherfuckers down on the west coast, right? Make sure, hey, no, you ain't going to be able to hide that. Really, that's the Lord. The Lord's making sure you ain't got nowhere to hide when all hell breaks loose. You can't hide from your how about Shimmy shot. The elite's going to be able to hide because they got the resources and the money to hide. But you average Joe motherfuckers, you finna be killing and shooting each other, man. That's why it says <laughs> the sword and its destruction draw nigh. One people shall what stand up to fight against another people with what with swords in their hands, swords in their hands. And we're seeing a prelude of um, death, a prelude of death on earth, man, especially here in Babylon the Great. The death angel heavy here in Babylon the Great. It says 10 killed, 27 wounded, 20 killed, 26 wounded, 4 killed, 13 wounded. And don't forget the mass shootings and don't forget the cities like Philadelphia, right? Philadelphia, right? Murder Detroit, Detroit, right? Murder New York, murder Florida, murder California, Mississippi, right? Shit, New Orleans. These are places where niggas is getting laid the fuck down. Chicago. We could keep going. And we're just naming these places because these are the places you hear about. But think about the, the crimes they do not. You can't you can't fucking um report all these crimes and murders. There's no way you could keep up with it. Why? Because our Lord is turning it up. Our Lord in power is turning it up. I'm gonna read the book of Isaiah 13, verse 11, it says, And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. That's what you're seeing. Punishments upon the wicked people of the earth, man, because who perishes being innocent? Who perishes being innocent? These motherfuckers, they're guilty of something that they've done in the past. And what happened? They came back for that judgment. Matter of fact, let me read the book of 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Amashiach, that everyone may receive the things that the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. Whether it be good or bad. And um, if you do bad, you get bad. You do good, you get good. Yeah, the Lord is a just power. Our Lord is a just power, not a wicked power. Right? Not like the power of Esau Edom. Esau Edom, man, there's people who don't work hard, did so called good in this society. Esau came and took everything away from them. Yeah, Esau don't give a fuck. That's not a just power. My, our Lord, yeah, how is a just power? Isaiah 13 and 11. What he's going to do to, the, to these wicked people in the earth? He's going to judge them. He's going to persecute them. He's going to slaughter them. 
right? He's going to starve them to death. He's going to starve them to death. He's going to make them go through these pains and sufferings, man, which they, they truly deserve. Isaiah 13, verse 11, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to seize. Yeah, all you prideful people, your arrogancy is about to disappear. It's about to vanish. It's about to go away. You ain't going to be proud. It's hard to be proud when your car is gone. That car you love so much that puffed you up, that bitch is gone. That house you had, that motherfucker gone. That woman you had, that motherfucker gone. Yeah, and you women, it's hard to be prideful without nothing, nothing. You about to be stripped bare, man. Because, yo, your big daddy Esau, he about to be stripped naked bare. So you about to be stripped right along with him. I'm going to read it again. And I will punish the world for their evil, right? And this is an evil-ass world. Don't forget, this place was given over into the hands of the wicked. And um, underneath their rulership, wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole environment, right? Pure darkness. Everybody's um in a zombie dead state. Nobody knows any knowledge and wisdom whatsoever of righteousness. They're following after the devil. The devil polluted their minds to from what they eat to the way they dress. Men is dressing like women, and women are dressing like men. Right? You got weirdness. Pure all over. Yeah, the, the, the weirdness is all over the place. The, the, the fuck boy spirit done took over society, man. This is what you're dealing with in this society, right? And there's no shame whatsoever. There's no shame whatsoever because what? There's no repercussion for their wicked deeds. Their wicked deeds, man, because, um, shit, I'm speaking about this right now. I guess what's walking in front of me? Um, Two females holding hands. Two females, and Lord willing, I'm not mistaken because either the dude look like a damn female because these people look so weird. You don't know what's what. You don't know what's what in this society, man. This place is really a spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah. You don't know what the fuck is what. The man looked like the woman and the woman looked like the man. The man talked like the woman and the woman talked like the man, right? She done put on the pants and you done took off the pants, right? This place needs a, a missile. This place needs a missile and it's going to receive one, man. Because the Lord, our power, how about Shimei Arshai, man? He promised the destruction of this place. He promised the destruction of this place. It said this place is going to be like the overthrow of what? Sodom and Gomorrah. Why? Because um, of the acts, of the um, abominable acts, of the abominable lifestyles, right? So we waiting for the Lord to judge. Matter of fact, let me read this. Because the Lord's about to use these devils, man. I'm going to finish Isaiah 13 and 11. And it says, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity, right? You wicked. You don't want to push in this um, sodomite spirit. You're the one pushing the side of my spirit, man. You go in another country, telling countries you will not give them aid unless they continue, unless they push your agenda, right? A agenda of what? There's no he, there's no she. It's just it. There's no him, there's no her. There's no man, there's no woman. Where man, get your ass the fuck out of here, you sick devil. You sick devil. That's why the Lord said, um, in the book of, matter of fact, let me sneak this in right quick. Psalm 17 and 13, man. It says, Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked. Yeah, arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him. Yeah, you about to be disappointed, Esau. Because you're not going to be able to fulfill that NWO. Right? You're not going to be able to fulfill that NWO and chip everybody on the face of the earth and set up a fucking digital currency through people's um <laughs> that MOTB, right? That a man can't buy or sell, can't do what he wanna do. You're gonna start it, but you're not gonna finish it. You're not going to finish it because our Lord is going to intervene. He's going to send his son back to wreck shop. Wreck shop on you satanic devils, man. I'm reading it. That's why it says arise. I'm going to read this again. The book of Psalm, Psalms. Bear with me, your brother. 17 verse 13. Arise, O Yahweh. Disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked. Which Who's the wicked? The Edomites. The Edomites. The earth has been given into the hands of the wicked, and we're at the end of his rulership, right? So it says, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy soul, from men which are from, from men which are thy hand, O Lord, from men of the world which have their portion, what, in this life, in this life. That's why he's trying to 
fulfill his rulership through what? The NWO, the New World Order, which have their portion in this life. We're waiting for the kingdom to come, the next kingdom. This is not our rest. So forget this life. That's why we done lost everything to gain what? Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shimi Yahweh Shai, right? Which have their portion in this life, in whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasures, right? They are full of children and leave their rest of their substance to their babes, right? So now you got to realize the times we're in, what are these these Edomites about to inherit? They're about to inherit a motherfucking ass whooping, goddammit. They're about to inherit captivity. They're about to inherit captivity. Matters of fact. Matters, matters of fact, right? Matter of fact. But matters of fact, let me find this verse if I can remember. Bear with me. Let me go to this right quick. Let me find this. Come on. Here we go. Let's see. Where are we at? Where are we at? Beautiful. Beautiful. We're going to go to the book of Job, right? Job 27 and 14. Um, bear with me. All right, perfect. We'll do it. 14. Um, Job 27 verse 14. If his children be multiplied, it is for the sword and his offspring shall not be satisfied. Those that remain of him shall be buried in death and his widows shall not weep. That's the future of Edomites. Yeah, your women's not going to weep for your demise. Your children are going to be slaughtered, dashed to pieces against stones. You're going into captivity. But on this side, you're going to eat a nuclear fucking missile. 